from cancer to heart disease and high blood pressure. We've heard all kinds of negative side effects from drinking too much alcohol. Tonight, we're learning how it can also lead to dementia when we talk about long-term memory loss, even if you're 25, 30, no matter how young you are, it depends on how much you drink. Let's take a listen. And joining us now here on The Factor Uncensored, we have with us Dr. Donnie Shali from Arch Point Pain Institute. Dr. Ali, a friend brought this illness or this condition up I didn't really know about, wasn't familiar with, and it's called alcohol-induced dementia alcohol induced dementia exactly what is that yeah Isaiah we know that alcohol reduces white matter in the brain and what white matter does is it insulates a bunch of these different areas in our brains where those cells can then communicate and if we don't have that insulation and then we have a decrease in the amount of white cells in the brain or white matter I should say then what happens is that that transmission is a lot less which raises your risk of having dementia or memory loss at a much earlier stage in life. What we know, Isaiah, is that brain cells, specifically uh, cells that are responsible for transmitting signals for memory, for function, for processing, all of those need different neurons or different nerve cells, and they are also consistent with the white matter. And when you have an overconsumption of alcohol, that can reduce the amount of transmission of that white matter, which then increases your risk to have dementia. And when we talk about alcohol cons consumption, uh, how much alcohol do you have to drink to cause this to take or have an impact on you? Yeah, Isaiah. So the guidelines say it's broken down by units and it, you're recommended if you're going to even use alcohol or drink alcohol, it is 14 units per week. Which now, what is a unit? Is that like a shot or what? Or that's correct. Drink? Yeah. So, yeah, 14 units um, is essentially uh, that's per week and that's broken down. Each unit is about one shot glass of either vodka, rum, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, some have more alcohol content, so it can be up to two units. But generally speaking, one shot is equivalent to one unit um, in the daily recommended recommended max dosage is 14 units per week which breaks down into two units per day Isaiah and so essentially it's two shot glasses or even one glass of wine which is equivalent to two units can get you there so does that very sound bad. high to you that's <laughs> It is, yeah, for sure. And that's the daily, like, if you're going to, right? I'd say if mm -hmm. you know you're going to be out or, you know, going out over a weekend and you may have more than uh, one or two drinks, then you want to hold off on that week of drinking if you're going out on a weekend, for example, because you don't want to increase that amount of units uh, that you're consuming. Obviously, the message is still the same reduce your consumption of alcohol, if not eliminate it as much as possible. As we know, alcohol causes multiple things, including diabetes, um, high blood pressure, uh, obesity, um, and it can also raise your chances of cancer. So we know it has all those detrimental effects, but it's also got dementia, especially if you're using high amounts of it or a regular consumption of alcohol. And so there's no age limit when it comes to alcohol-induced dementia that that someone can get it. It just depends on how much you drink. How much and how long you've been drinking. That's correct, Isaiah. You can see somebody at a very young age, and if they started young and they've been drinking uh, excessive amounts uh, daily, then yes, you will definitely see that in a uh, younger folk uh, than you would otherwise. And when we talk about this memory loss, are we talking about forgetting the the previous night when you were drinking or you're talking about long-term memory gaps 
long term, Isaiah, this is not just, hey, I drank and I didn't know, you know, where I was at night. No, this is more consistent where you actually don't know where your, you know, where your car is or, you know, you forget your way to work or, you know, your a lot of those memory issues that we see that we wouldn't just equate to, to just a night of drinking. It's more of that long term things. The other thing that we also it's more of memory as it relates to long term memory. So what I did last year, last month or or, you know, uh, a few days ago, that's also lost in this process as well. And for those who say, or how can you determine if you have it? Is there a test that can be taken that you can go to uh, a doctor to, to yeah. determine if you have it? I say the, the best place to start, if you have any sort of memory issues, just to talk to your primary care doctor, let them do some blood work and some testing to see if you may need to go see a neurologist, somebody who specializes in the brain to see if that may be something that you need to work up. There are tests that can be done that can show if you have early signs of dementia. Um, there are things that we can do. And again, if we can intervene early, if we know early enough that you're developing dementia, there are things that can be done uh, to help uh, uh, get that uh, from worsening, dementia worsening. 